iron is one of the elements highlighted within the Quran. There is even a chapter named Al-Hadid, which means iron. The following is stated in verse 25 of the chapter of Al-Hadid. And, and we also, also sent, sent down, down iron, iron in which, in which there, there lies great, great force, force and which, and has, which has many has uses, uses for mankind. For mankind. The word Anzalna, used for the formation of iron in the verse, means we sent down. However, what we know is that the iron is dug out from the underground. In our opinion, we dug out should have been preferred instead of we sent down. However, the situation is not what we think. With the expression we sent down in the verse, a very important scientific miracle is pointed out. It is as follows. For the formation of the mineral of iron, a certain temperature is needed. This necessary temperature exists neither in the earth nor in the sun. The sun has a surface temperature of 6,000 degrees Celsius and a core temperature of approximately 15 million degrees. However, this temperature is inadequate for the formation of iron. Iron can only be produced in stars much larger than the Sun, where the temperature reaches a few hundred million degrees. When the amount of iron exceeds a certain level in stars, called a nova, or a supernova, the star can no longer accommodate it, and it eventually explodes. These explosions make it possible for iron to be dispersed into space. All astronomic discoveries have put forth that the mineral of iron comes from huge stars from outer space. Not only the iron in the Earth, but also the iron in our solar system is acquired from outer space. For, as we have stated before, the temperature of the Sun is not enough for the formation of the iron mineral. What is understood from all above is that the mineral of iron is not formed in the earth, but sent down by being carried away from supernovas, just as it is stated in the verse. It is not possible for this knowledge to be known in the age when the Quran was revealed, that is, 1400 years ago. Since it is not possible, how can it be explained that this information exists within the Quran. Is there any explanation other than the fact that the Quran is the Book of Allah? Besides, it has been mentioned in the verse that the iron has many benefits for humans. However, people used iron only to make swords at the time when this verse was revealed and were not aware of the other benefits of iron. Despite this, the Quran stated, it has many benefits for mankind. Now, let us see the latest scientific data on iron. Without the iron atom, carbon-based life in the cosmos would not be possible. That is, there would be no supernovae, no heating of the primitive Earth, no atmosphere and no hydrosphere. There would be no protective magnetic field, no Van Allen radiation belts, no ozone layer, no metal to make hemoglobin in human blood, no metal to tame the reactivity of oxygen, and no oxidative metabolism. It is very significant and wise that attention is attracted to iron, particularly that the following is stated about it. Iron in which there lies great force and which has many uses for mankind. Along with what we have mentioned above, there is one more secret in this verse. It is as follows. The verse that mentions iron is verse 25 of the chapter of Al-Hadid. This verse contains two rather interesting mathematical codes. Al-Hadid is the 57th chapter within the Quran. When the word is uttered with the definite article al, v, as al-hadid in Arabic, the sum of the abjad value, numerological value, of its letters is also 57. 
the numerological value of the word Hadid alone, without the definite article, is 26. And 26 is the atomic number for iron. That is, when we utter it as Al-Hadid, its numerological value is 57, which is the number of the chapter within the Quran. When we utter it as Hadid, its numerological value is 26, which is the atomic number of iron. Now, let us think justly. Is it possible for a human being who could not read or write and who lived in the desert 1400 years ago when science and technology did not exist even by name to know that iron was sent down from the sky and to write it in a book by paying attention to numerological values? Can any sane person accept this? Can a person who accepts it be regarded as sane? In that case, it is nonsense and illusional equal to closing one's eyes to the sun, which illuminates the world, to say that the Quran is the word of a human being. A person who closes his eyes is able to turn day into night only for himself. We send endless praise and thanks to our Lord, who does not leave us in darkness, and who turns the night into day with the light of the Quran.